Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday, April 29th, I think. It's the 29th. Uh, anyways, yeah, so this is episode number 142. <laughs> I got some finished objects to share with you guys, and I got one whip. Um, yeah, I got a couple things. I got my craft cart in there that I need to clean out really bad, and there's a few whips on there that I'm going to frog. But uh, I think I might do a video about that by itself because uh, it would be interesting, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop into my finished objects because Jesse was he's in there moving around and I don't think he wants me to come back in there. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start. So I do have two finished objects I can't show you because I have no idea where they're at. I looked in his toys and I don't see them over there anywhere. I couldn't see them in the living room. So they're probably up underneath the furniture. <laughs> but it's the two little um, lobsters that I made him. I showed it, I think, in last week's Watch Working on Wednesday. I think is what it was. But I was making him a black and a yellow lobster to play with. And um, I did. <laughs> so he's been playing with them. And I'm not exactly sure where they're at. I looked, I'm looking at his toys right now. I still don't see them poking out anywhere over there. But uh, he really loves them and has been playing with them a lot. So I did finish that. I will link that pattern below. It's called Little Blue Lobster. And it is a free pattern. Um, yeah, so I did make two of those. I just don't know where they're at. <laughs> So the next uh, finished object is my clown. I've been making, been working on this pattern for a while. I think the last time I showed it to you, I was making the hair, and I needed to crochet eyes because I didn't have the right size safety eyes to put on its head when I was making its body. So I did finish it. I think it looks pretty cute, <laughs> but it is called Cute Clown, and this is a paid for pattern. Uh, it was gifted to me pretty recently by uh, someone. So here it is. <laughs> I didn't put a smile on there because I haven't figured out if I wanted to do a smile or yet or not. And there's his head and his little arms. His little feet. I think it's cute. The hair was kind of a pain in the butt. Just drink. <laughs> but I think he's cute. I'm thinking about putting a smile on there, but I'm not sure. And his head keeps, like, it's a weird shaped. <laughs> I have a hard time keeping the head shaped. But yeah, I kind of wish I'd put the eyes a little bit further down, but uh, they're sewn on there really good, so I'm just going to leave them. <laughs> I think he's cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I guess I'll just put him in my amigurumi bag over here and put him in a craft fair or something if I ever have another one. <laughs> but yeah, I think he's cute. He's got a lot of hair. But like I said, this is paid for pattern, and I think it calls for a way smaller hook and yarn, but I used rusted weight yarn and a G hook. <laughs> And uh, he's kind of got big holes on his face, but I'm not too worried about that. Hang on. But um, these are all scrap yarns. I know this is, I love this yarn, light peach, red heart super saver, cherry red, white, black, spring green. This is red heart super saver, but I can't remember the color. Uh, this is pumpkin, I think. And then this yellow color, I'm not exactly sure. I can't try to remember what it's called. I don't think I have another ball of it with a band. It's a Red Heart Super Saver. I don't know if it's a daffodil or something like that. I can't remember. But it's like a, it's not bright yellow. It's dingier than that. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. I just looked at some at Walmart the other day and I forgot what it's called. But yeah, so it's all scraps. And uh, I think he turned out pretty cute. He's a cute little guy. <laughs> so that's my clown. That'll be links below if you want to purchase that pattern. It's on uh, Etsy, I believe. What is next? Okay, next is my movie squares. <laughs> so I have F and G here. So here's my F um, square, and it was for Freaky Friday. So it's a boomerang because <laughs> there's a funny boomerang scene in it. Uh, so I'll link this square pattern. It's called uh, Simple Says It Best or something like that. <laughs> I can't remember, did I write down? No. But uh, it's just a free square pattern I've been using to make all my movie squares. So this is again that red heart blue that I'm not sure what it's called. This is like a corally pink color. That is also red heart and I can't remember what it's called because these are all scrap balls. And this is a piece of cafe latte. And I didn't use pattern for the boomerang. I just winged it and it looks kind of weird but that's okay. And then my G square was for the movie Gus. And it is all red heart super saver. Here it is. So same square pattern. I did use a pattern for this horse head. It's supposed to be a mule. <laughs> and it's just called horse applique. And it has a body, but I just did the head. But this is cherry red, white, uh, coffee, and cafe latte. And then it does have safety eyes. I used brown ones. So yeah, I just made the applique and sewed it on there. So 
that's my G square. Let's see here. I think my last finished object, yes, is my B for the crochet calendar fun cow that I'm doing with uh, Dina at Dina's Homespun Fun, I think is what it is. Yeah, she's hosting it, and then a bunch of us other ones are trying to get in here. <laughs> the pattern back are um, participating. Where every at the end of every month, we make we show uh, that month's uh, project, and then talk about next month's pattern. So uh, let's see. We've done January, February, March, and April. Is the bee. It has a bee mobile on there, and I was gonna make something like that, but I didn't have any hoops on hand, and I didn't want to have to run somewhere to get a hoop uh, just to make this pattern with. So I just made the bee. <laughs> it only comes with the bee pattern, anyways. In the little, the back of the calendar has a pocket with the printed patterns on it, and it just comes with how to make the bee, and then it tells you how to crochet around the hoop, which is just single crochets. But um, and I saw that some people didn't actually make the. Um, the mobile but I just I was running out of time I was real busy this month <laughs> so I just made the bee so here's the bee <laughs> I followed the pattern exactly except at the butt here it wanted to do uh, a couple straight rows and then close and I think that would have made it look kind of like a stinger I didn't want to do that so I just closed it instead of making it pointy and closing but uh, I did follow it this is some um, I think this is the daffodil color and this other one is a different color because it's different yellow I think this is a scrap ball of daffodil. I don't know. They're all scrap balls. I don't know. This is Red Heart Super Saver Black and White. And I use safety hods. But, uh, and it's super tightly packed in there. I stuffed the heck out of this thing. <laughs> but, uh, it was a pretty cute pattern and simple. But I think I like the other bee better. The one. I am going to use this bee pattern. I like it with multiple stripes. And, uh, I was telling Devin that, and he's like, well, you could just add stops. And I was like, yeah, but I wanted to follow the pattern that came with the calendar so that people could see what the pattern comes out as, you know. So this is what the pattern comes out as, minus the pointy butt. <laughs> I just didn't want it to have a yellow pointy butt. But I made them one, so I'll probably just put this in that bag, and, uh, it'll go in a craft fair or whatever if I ever have one. And I might stitch a little smile in there, <laughs> just because they're cute with smiles. But, uh, that's all I made this, this, uh, time. I didn't get creative. <laughs> But uh, I'll share, I'm going to be recording here in just a minute, the calendar video, and I'll talk about uh, May's project. So, yeah, that'll come out tomorrow, Friday, <laughs> if you want to see that. But that's all my finished objects. It's quite a few, but uh, pretty simple ones, because these squares were easy. The bee was easy. The lobsters were super easy. They're just little tiny amigurumis. And this, all I did this week on it was make its eyes and sew its hair on. <laughs> but, um... I did the rest of its body crocheting and sewing together last week. And, uh, yeah. So, he's he's done, finally. His head's a little floppy. But that's okay. I don't care. <laughs> so, I only have one active whip. I do have a scrap again going, but I haven't worked on it in forever. And I have two more projects on my cart that I'm going to end up frogging. Because uh, one of them is coming out way too big and I just don't want to deal with it. And the other one is that um, meshy thing I was making. But I don't like the way the colors are pulling. I, I don't like how... They're like separated. I want to uh, frog that and start something else with that yarn so that all the rainbow colors are all together. But anyways, this is this was what, what I showed on this week's Watch Your Working on Wednesday. It is called the Poncho Style Summer Top. I think it has a different name on the Ravelry page. On the Ravelry page it's called Saratoga, I think. Saratoga Poncho Top. And uh, it's by Make and Do Crew. It is a free pattern on their website, but I think it is a PDF that you can buy other places. But I showed it to you guys yesterday. <laughs> I went to work on Wednesday, and I worked on it since then. So I finished the first portion of the panel to here, and it had this weird white spot. And then right here, I started the second stitch pattern repeat. You can see where it changes here to here. So I'm doing that. I've got to do, um, let's see, I got it pulled up right here gotta do see is this the chain row or is this the so one two three four I gotta do four more rows of this cluster and then in between each row that is just like a chain row that you build onto so I gotta do um finish that one and then it's so it'll be about that much more <laughs> onto it and then this panel will be done and then I can work on the second panel and my other cake is up there <laughs> I couldn't find it yesterday but it's up there I seen it afterwards 
but it's coming along. So this will be um, like this is how it's going to be. Ugh. And then so it'll go a little bit further out here. And then I'll make the second panel, which will go the same way over here. And I'll sew them together, these pieces together. And then leave a hole for your head. <laughs> and then sew the back together. And that'll be the top. <laughs> so this is mandala yarn. I have to blow that here. I said it was just regular mandala, but it is mandala baby. <laughs> I've seen that also after. So it's mandala baby. And the colorway is called Echo Caves. So mandala baby is a number three. It's 100% acrylic. And 590 yards in each cake. So, yeah. But I'm going to have to pick up another cake. Because I thought that two was going to be enough. But um, I'm not done with the first um, panel yet. And I'll have this much yarn left of the first cake. So I will have to pick up another one. I will get a third cake. And I'll probably take it apart. So that I can. Like this is going to end on like a light green color. You can see right there. Um, and then to finish out this. I'm going to try to get that same color. Uh, so it stays in the same color repeat. And then I'll start the second panel with that one up there. And then when if I run out of yarn for it. Um, you know take that one cake apart more and add the right colors to where it's supposed to go that's my plan <laughs> but yeah i'm liking the way it's coming out it's really pretty there are some random like this there's a random blue bit right here and then it went back a lot and then dark again and then right here it was like it was undyed just that little bit but you know it just adds character <laughs> i'm happy with it i still think it's really pretty there's a fuzz there's always something on everything <laughs> But I love the stitching, and it's really simple repeats, because you do this one thing, and then you repeat it all the way up to, here, like, here. And then you do a roll single crochet, and then you start that other repeat, and then you do that to the end. And, uh, it's just really simple. I think I'm gonna really like making this top. Um, might make more in the future, who knows? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm almost done with that first panel. I'm gonna get that finished up and start the second panel. <laughs> and hopefully get it all put together pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, today's Thursday, so... Tonight, not tonight, this evening, Jesse has karate class. It's his last one this week. Um, do I need to do anything today? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I just did some laundry. I'm trying to vlog today. I, I kind of fell off the vlogging wagon last week on my second channel. But just because we were so super busy and stuff. But um, I'm going to try to get back on it. I know there's only two days left in April <laughs> for VEDA. But I want to keep vlogging, you know, into May and stuff too. And uh, I start, I'm starting a steps challenge on May 1st through the whole month of May uh, on that channel. I'm not hosting it. I'm just participating in it. Another uh, health channel is hosting it. So uh, I'm going to hopefully be posting videos about stuff like that. I've got to get back into take better care of my health. Because <laughs> when we went hiking yesterday, I almost died. <laughs> like, um, I realized I had lost a lot of my stamina and endurance and all that. And, um... I want to get that stuff back. <laughs> so, uh, helping Jesse practice for karate has definitely been workouts because <laughs> it's a lot of work and, um, they have to do like a workout, uh, a warm up before their karate class starts. And, uh, we do that at home, you know, practicing with him and then helping him learn his punches and stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I told Devin if I was, I was like, if at this rate, if I keep helping Jesse practice, I'm going to one, lose weight because of the working out and two, I'm also going to learn karate. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to be able to like test for the belts too. But, um, yeah. So, uh, is there anything else I need to tell you guys? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> but, uh, this was a pretty short episode because I didn't have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. Um, I need to clean out my cart. Like I said, I'm going to try to make a video of that because it's like piled up there <laughs> and there's I know there's two things on there I got a frog and I just need to organize stuff you know I just it's kind of a catch-all with my crochet stuff when I use stuff I just kind of chuck it on there there's some empty project bags on there there's uh, hooks just laying everywhere it's just messy and I need to clean it so I'll probably film a video in the next few days of that uh, tomorrow like I said I'm gonna do the calendar video I'm gonna record it now so I'll be wearing the same shirt <laughs> but um and then Monday and then Saturday is May. <laughs> Jesse's birthday is Saturday, but we're having his little party on Sunday because of the um, inflatable jumpy bounce house thing that we wanted to rent uh, wasn't available for Saturday. So it, it was available for Sunday. So we rented it for Sunday. I just ordered the pizzas to pick up uh, a little bit before his party. I gotta go pick up his cake tomorrow. Also need to do some grocery shopping <laughs> tomorrow and uh, I gotta get our rent paid tomorrow. I'll be running around a little bit tomorrow. I guess I could do some of that today. I don't know. 
it's raining. I don't ever want to do anything when it's raining. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and get ready for my other video. And then i got to go do some house stuff. i got to empty the dishwasher. Yay. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.